Social media, perhaps more than anything else modern humans do, causes so much of our stress, anxiety, depression, and suicide. And even though we all know this, we give so much of our energy and time willingly to these platforms that cause so much immense suffering. And the problem is not actually the platforms. It's that we lose ourselves in the platforms. And we need to turn our mindless scrolling into mindful action. Too often, we obsess about whether someone followed us back or not, why someone unfollowed us, why someone didn't like our photo, and we compare follower counts and so much suffering is caused because we allow ourselves to go down these rabbit holes of negativity and obsession. We are not mindful of the effects that these tools have on us, which is why they created the check, track how much time you're spending on these platforms because we, <laughs> we get on and then four hours later, we're like, where did the time go? And we literally get in these trances where we just become like a stalker. <laughs> And we, we have to find out who, who, who liked this post? Who didn't like my post? Why didn't they like my post? What's, are these two people both friends now? And <laughs> why aren't, uh, why isn't this person calling me back? Let me go spy on them through their social media channel. But we can all change that unconscious, addictive, obsessive behavior into very conscious and very productive uses of our time. These platforms are incredibly powerful and effective for keeping in touch with friends, for remembering people's birthdays, for staying in touch, for scheduling events to meet up in real life. But if we are not careful, if we are mindless, then they can literally lead to our own death. And we need to recognize that we are human beings, we are social creatures, and even though it is easy to get on social media and comment or like and think we're interacting with a human being, we have to recognize that that is actually the problem and making us feel more isolated, more disconnected, more self-conscious because we are not getting our social needs met. So there's really three things that are pretty important that we can do for ourselves on these social platforms that will vastly improve our life. And those three things are, number one, check how you are feeling as you are scrolling. Keep some of your attention on your breath. And if it's slow and calm and deep, or if it's being held, or you're breathing very shallow and irregular, because this is the easiest way to check in on your mental state. When we are relaxed, our breathing is naturally slow and deep and steady. When we are in fight or flight mode and we are activating that stress response, we tend to hold our breath and have shallow, choppy breathing. So these mental checkups, you know, what are my thoughts? Are they positive or are they negative? And 
if they are becoming negative, if we're holding our breath, simply bring that conscious awareness to your thoughts and to your breath and allow your breath to become calm. Take some deep breaths. Allow your thoughts to just be witnessed and observed and recognize that they have become negative and bring wisdom to that insight and to your awareness of your thoughts. Number two, if you find that the majority of your social media is negative and your experience is always negative, like you are seeing the photos of someone on vacation, even a dear friend, but it brings up jealousy and anger and just changes your whole mood completely, feel free to turn it off. Nobody says you have to be on social media. We all think that we have no choice, but we all have a choice. We are the owners of our phone, and if they own us, we're in big trouble. And number three, and this one is super easy, we can all do it. Is the content on your social media feed giving value to your life? Is it joyful content? Is it enriching and nourishing for the soul? And if you're watching this video, you've probably got a great curated social media feed that only shows you uplifting content. But if you are getting the darkest news of the day, if you are constantly getting agitated when you turn on your social media, we can all curate our channels to be more positive and to show us content that lifts us up. And in this way, we can all use social media in the most mindful and beneficial way possible. And it doesn't need to contribute to our self and body image. And it doesn't need to bring us out of our present moment awareness. And it can vastly enrich our lives, which is what we all want.